After three months of shutdown, the Premier League will return on June the 17th as Manchester City take on Arsenal. Good afternoon and welcome along to Sky Sports News. It's the news we've all been waiting for. Project Restart is good to go and the details are starting to emerge. We also know that Aston Villa against Sheffield United will take place on the same night, which is a Wednesday in just 20 days time. For more on this, let's get straight to our chief reporter, Brian Swanson. Brian, welcome. Can you confirm the headlines for us, that official Premier League return date of June the 17th? We're still awaiting official confirmation from the Premier League, but it is understood that clubs have agreed to that restart date of June the 17th. And that's where there will be a chance for those two games in hand to be played. Aston Villa against Sheffield United and Manchester City against Arsenal. Those fixtures were postponed earlier in the season because of Manchester City's uh, EFL Cup final um, tie against Aston Villa uh, early in March. It means that after those two fixtures, Every Premier League club will have played 29 games, so they will then all go into a round of 30 at that following weekend on the 20th and 21st. We're still waiting for confirmation whether or not there will be games on Friday at June the 19th as well. As soon as we had confirmation that clubs had unanimously agreed to contact training, this was the next logical step because you've got contact training then it's going to be the same replicated out on the pitch. So it seems that that agreement has been reached for that restart date, which gives clubs, what, about three weeks to partake in contact training, should they wish, prior to the return of the Premier League matches. And Brian, how long will those fixtures then be played out over? We're hearing six weeks. Is that correct? We're still waiting for confirmation from the league on exactly how long it will take, but certainly the expectation prior to this meeting was that they were going to and hoping to try to complete their remaining 92 fixtures in that time frame, ideally within around six weeks or so. There's a lot of other items that are still under discussion. The meeting is still taking place, most notably around where uh, all the games will be played. Will it all be at home? There did seem to be a shift, particularly in terms of what the police and government were advising a couple of weeks ago in terms of specific fixture scheduling and they were also discussing the possibility of a plan B. What happens if there is a second peak in the coronavirus and those fixtures can't be fulfilled at some point throughout June and July? So they were looking and modelling those but certainly the headline to come out of the meeting so far is that agreement over a June the 17th restart. And Brian, how much have the clubs, the players been emboldened by the testing and the results and the overwhelming negative results that we've seen around the coronavirus testing? We've definitely seen a shift in the last couple of weeks and that will have been helped somewhat by the tests. The Premier League clubs have taken part in three rounds of testing. We've had 12 positive results so far, but still more than 99.5% of those tested at Premier League clubs have tested negative. Clearly, every positive result will have to have been taken seriously, but the relatively low figures will have given a degree of confidence for those players and those managers that they are, in terms of contact training, at returning to as safe an environment as possible. Clearly, a lot can happen in the next three weeks and nobody is running away with this just yet but what clubs now have is that definitive line in the sand they know now what they are aiming for in terms of project restarts they know that they are aiming particularly in the case of four of those clubs to be playing on the 17th with the rest of them then taking part over the 19th 20th and 21st over that weekend so they've got that target now to chase and that's what they will be focusing on and then everyone in the game will hope that those uh, figures in terms of those tests will continue to be low clubs are testing today and tomorrow the fourth round of results expected on Saturday or Sunday at the latest before those clubs meet again a week today to discuss the finer details of project restart. Brian it'll been a long wait for the fans more than three months but for the players less than three weeks from today of contact training before those first games on June the 17th. Is that underpinning the sense that these players were well conditioned throughout lockdown with their home workouts? 
It's been fascinating to see different reactions from different clubs. You've got some people at some clubs saying that they have been involved in extremely strenuous individual workouts, so they are raring to go. You then have other clubs saying different things. Interesting to hear the thoughts of Newcastle's Steve Bruce a while ago, where he said that certainly he would have preferred longer before those games restarted. But I think the sense, the general feeling that you hear is that the players just wanted to get on with this, and they will be heartened by the fact that a date has now been set for those games to resume. Clearly there will be questions asked about the demands that are being put on them in three weeks' time. There have been concerns raised by some medics that does it increase the potential and the possibility of injuries. Remember, we still to get an answer on that uh, IFAB and FIFA recommendation of increasing the number of substitutions. So that is expected to be confirmed, you would think, by the Premier League in the coming seven days or so, because that was the idea of that was to try and alleviate the pressure on potential injuries. But Certainly there is now a focus for those clubs, for those players and for those managers. The absolute priority has to be to remain healthy, to remain fit and to remain COVID-19 free where they can. And that's why the testing will continue. Remember, up to 60 tests can now take place at clubs from the fourth round onwards. So they will be monitoring and tracking every result and hoping that there's not going to be any positive cluster in one club or any return of a coronavirus peak that would potentially derail this restart date. Indeed. One final point for you, Brian. There's been conjecture around where the matches will take place with objections to the, the suggestion of neutral venues. Obviously, as you say, the meeting's still ongoing, but as you held it before the meeting started, did you feel that neutral venues were, were off the table? Do you expect these to be played at the home team's home stadium? Ultimately, that is going to be a decision that's going to be heavily guided by the police and the authorities on that. There was an expectation, certainly at the start of this week, that there may well be games back at home with a couple of of fixtures that potentially might be played at neutral venues but there's not yet been any firm guidance either way on this we know that the Premier League clubs preferred to play their outstanding games at home that's a fact that's what Richard Masters the Premier League chief executive told us on a media briefing uh, last week I think it was or the week before so clearly the clubs want that to happen but they will be guided by the authorities and the police uh, you do sense there has been a softening of that approach but it will all come down to the expectations and society in general there was always a concern that supporters would be gathering around those grounds around England if that assurance is given by the clubs that their fans will not do that and the police and the authorities are happy with that then you would expect there to be some sort of a return to home venues but that's still not being confirmed okay Brian Swanson thank you very much for now